Welcome to Screen Riot. This week's movie is Castle in the Sky, an animated film from 1986. This episode will contain major spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, it's available to rent or purchase on all the streaming services. So go check it out and come back to the podcast because this is Screen Riot. So welcome to Screen Red. I'm Justin, and I'm joined with co-hosts Eddie, Kyle, and John, and our Season 2 contest winner was Rachel from Florida. Congratulations, Rachel. She's going to get a spiffy little new Screen Riot t-shirt, mm-hmm. and um, for her movie, she chose the animated film Castle in the Sky. So what is this about? So Castle in the Sky's story takes place in a steampunkish earth that focuses on a girl named Sheeta, which... Her original translation apparently was closer to Shitta. Shitta? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, and it's nice. That's I laugh at that because it, after she tells uh, Patsu her name, Shitta, Shitta, yeah. he goes, oh, that's a beautiful name. Oh. And I laughed. So anyway, um, so it's about Shitta, uh, whose English dub voice was Anna Paquin, yes. which I didn't know until I started looking some stuff up in here. Um, Shitta has been kidnapped by a government agent named Muska who is voiced by Mark Hamill. Uh, Sheeta is also being pursued by the Dola Gang, a family of pirates, after the necklace that Sheeta is carrying that contains a mysterious power. Ooh. And Captain Dola is voiced by Cloris Leachman. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yep. Um, Sheeta is uh, soon joined in her journey by a boy named Patsu, uh, which I did not look up to see who, who voiced him. James Vanderbeek. Oh, was it? Oh, yep. I haven't heard that name in forever. Right. Um, and together they go through a high-flying adventure, searching for Sheeta's identity in a floating castle of a lost civilization. Yeah, I, I actually kind of, um, I actually kind of like this movie. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we don't talk about it, but we couldn't be on more different wavelengths than if we tried to do it but I, purposefully. <laughs> but I like it. I like it for only a, a couple of reasons. Okay. I I, I like the music in this. Yeah, the I, music is fantastic. I agree, I agree with you on that. Yeah. And I'm a big mu- uh, music guy, a big composition guy. Um, and the animation was really good for the late '80s. I mean the the it, it explosions, looks, the yeah. actual scenes, and all this in this movie. It looks were, just like Spirited Away, which makes sense. It's the same guy, but yeah, yeah. but it, it's it's great. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, so I am I am kind of comparing it to Spirited Away just because these were very similar in in like artistic styles. Yeah, it's the same guy, but eight years apart, I think. Um, something like that. Well, Spirited this was Away, '86. Spirited Away was like 2004 or something. 2001. 2001. 2001. Oh, I'm sorry. What What did he do in '94? Because I thought he did something in '94 too. Then maybe I'm, I thought it was Spirited Away for some reason. No. Okay, but okay. Sa- same guy, 15 years apart then. But yeah. Yeah, it's it's a long time, and yeah, for the graphics or the the animation to be that good, mm-hmm. I I enjoyed it. That that part. Fair enough. Yeah. The obviously the length. It, see, it's a two hour and four minute movie. Hmm. But it didn't really feel like a two-hour and four-minute movie. I'll try it. It felt like four it did, hours. It did to me. I hated it. Oh, okay. Well, it felt long to me. There was there were certain parts that felt long. Like well, whenever Pazu saves her and they end up on the Dola ship, on Dola's ship. Yeah. Uh, the the tiger moth. That's that felt long. That scene. That that it was like twenty-five minutes. I think that felt like a long twenty-five minutes. Okay. It minus that, it didn't feel as long to me. Well, usually where movies like really stretch out things is when they're trying to do character development. Mm-hmm. But I had no feelings for the characters whatsoever. Okay. Like that's where they lacked in in that piece. And that's where I kind of give this movie some crap is because the character development in this movie, I didn't really care for anybody. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. And I'm like, well, and I think it's because of the fast paced action scenes. It was like almost action after action after action. Like you had... You had, um, like, the opening scene was, you know, hey, here's some dinner. Oh, I don't want it. And then pirate invasion. And then, and then, <laughs> and then it was like, That's a great okay, way for describing this here's, movie. Here's this, here's this wee, wee I'm, I'm falling and everything. And then all of a sudden, you know, things pirate are going. Invasion. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of pirate <laughs> invasion. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all mixed up with pirate invasions. But, I don't know, it, it felt like it was just a, a nonstop scene after scene after scene of 
I'm being chased. You know, we could never really catch our breath and Ooh. figure out who we are. I agree in with this you. world. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think um, the fact that they go like you're you're kind of being plopped into the middle of things and you're discovering stuff kind of at the same speed that she is kind of at the speed that Pazu is. It's sort of yeah. in between the two. Um, I don't think helped it, especially but in terms of being be able to connect to the characters. Yeah. Um, I didn't really feel like I needed to 100 percent. Animation movies are always weird with me, though. I've, I've said that before. You know, they, they take leaps that if this was a real movie, I would be like, nope, you already lost me. This is. Uh, shit that that movie that came out that was awful the um it was done by luke luke Bassad. it was um brazil sh- not oh. brazil <laughs> wow uh oh are you talking about luke Basson? Um, uh where uh you know the movie i'm talking about the girl the uh, the professional not the professional no it was a valerian in the city of a thousand whatever oh yeah yeah, yeah. it was awful yeah. the city of a thousand planets it was awful it, and it's almost i mean it's not nearly the same movie but it's really similar it's like a chase movie type stuff two mm-hmm. two characters boy and a girl very similar fucking awful and oh and you know similar I, in terms of the way that thing, they do things another but. thing i hated was um the boy pazu yeah he he showed um the girl his plane yes. right in the basement right that he's been working on and he's he's trying to find this city and he never gets to fly it. No, we never see yeah, it. And I'm like, it. what? I really wanted to see this plane. Which is really funny because when I watched it, I was like, oh, so this is definitely, they're going to fly this plane and find Laputa. And yeah. Okay. I kind of, I got to be honest. When I when the movie ended and we didn't see that, I was like, but, but where's this plane? Good good job. In a weird way, like I, you, you, they broke my, my oh. expectations because typically I'm like, okay, well, I know exactly how this fucking movie's going to end. I didn't know how this movie was going to yeah. end. Well. You know, I mean, I knew they were going to find Laputa. That was pretty obvious. Yeah, Laputa. 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 Not not Laputa. Because <laughs> uh, um, it's not Laputa. No. Because it's, well, it's Laputa or something. Yeah, like it's, it's Laputa. Um, well, Laputa. apparently Miyazaki, um, he was being interviewed about about the name of the the castle. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he said that he was unaware that uh, Laputa meant the whore in Spanish. Yes. <laughs> right. La, <laughs> that's two words. That. Though, but yes. it's but it's two, two words. La Puta. That's hilarious. Yeah. I thought La it was Puta. Like in no, that's my no, bitch. Punta Punta is uh yeah it, it can mean bitch yeah oh, okay yeah. well it's it's why they couldn't sell the sell the uh, Chevy Nova in Spanish speaking countries oh mm. vas go Nova <laughs> no, no go, go. yeah you, yeah who who would buy a car named I want to buy that Chevy no, no go, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um so he basically said that he found out later after the movie had already been released and everything that that's what uh you know Laputa oh. meant um he said he would have definitely changed the name of the castle and the land or whatever that's why you say it lapida yeah lapida yeah. instead of laputa yeah <laughs> but written it's, out it still says laputa <laughs> it's it's not spaced it's it's one word you yeah. so what other things did you like john what did you like um i like the animation especially the opening credits Okay, I was confused by the opening credits, though. I was kind of confused I, as well. But... I, I, I like the opening credit mm-hmm. animation. Um, I like the music, but I don't like the opening music set to that animation. It doesn't wow me. Okay. It, didn't, it was too it was, fast. It was too somber. Oh, the, like the animation was too somber? No, the, no, the, the music. music. The music oh. was just like... It's like this... We're gonna do this adventure. And it's like... five minutes long. Yeah. Yeah, so there was that. I mean, as an adult, I find it... Watching it, I find it odd that there's two children in this movie. And that's and they're the two main characters. Like, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. The, There's the, no other kids. The child aspect was a little strange in certain parts of this movie. But I mean, I get it. It's hmm. the it what get, are you referring to, Kyle? Um, probably the scene where uh, the what's Dola her, what's brother her name Dola uh, Shida is cleaning the kitchen and cooking, and then all of the brothers come in and try to talk her up, woo her. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. oh, hold up, y'all. You guys are like, um, they're like in their thirties. Yeah, you guys are our mama's boys living at home. Uh, and you're trying to get in with a 13 year old. Well, did we ever find out their age? Do they ever say their age in the movie? No, but they they act. They're they're, in... they're children. No, they're no, no. children. Hear yeah. me out. I'm not disagreeing with you. No, no. Okay, but no, I'm but we never percent agreeing. No, we never got into their ages. So yeah, the only thing that I would argue 
and it's arguable, <laughs> is that they could be slightly older than they come across. Because Pazu is like... 16? Yeah, I was thinking like 15, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I was, was going to stretch not it. <laughs> I'm not. I was going to stretch it to like... Slightly. Maybe 15. Yeah. Yeah, because Pazu is basically regarded as kind of being like a man, even though he's obviously a child still in his little town. However... Yeah. So, was there a sex joke in here? Or did the, my mind just... <laughs> I don't wander? know. Wander. <laughs> which, which one? Towards the end, when um, the Dola gang is all captured by by uh, colonel muska mm-hmm. and they're all like um crouched yes. or they're all seated on the ground and, and then patsu <laughs> pops up between Dola's up legs. Between, yes. and i'm like that was weird yeah, and then she you know they have this conversation between her legs and all this stuff and and then he runs away and then she goes um uh oh, he the boy becomes a man oh uh yeah i don't know probably i did there, there's yeah. some weird looks that I don't know that that made me think that 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 was a that was a, a joke for the adults that were in the in the theater. It could have been. I wouldn't fault him if it was. Let me say it that way because I honestly needed something. I I didn't mind the movie, but it, between this and Spirited Away, I'd prefer. I would I would rewatch Spirited Away be, before I'd rewatch yes, this. Yes, I'm with you. And I, I know have... people that's opposite for this, but for me, I just didn't enjoy it as much as Spirited Away. Kyle, did you laugh at the at the fart joke? What fart joke? Where where uh, the Dola gang again is is sitting there uh, tied up by Muska, and um, they heard this this loud like this loud like like sound like a fart in the and Dola Captain Dola goes it wasn't me. You didn't. You missed I, that. You missed I, that one. I must have been I thought uh, exactly of you. And me too. I'm like <laughs> Kyle is dying right now. Uh, unless I I just glazed over it because uh, I was very confused about the potential sex joke. That was before the sex joke. Was it? Yeah. I have no idea yeah, what was, was going yeah, on. Was... So <laughs> let's talk about the little deeper than, than fart jokes and oh, okay. sex jokes in the movie. Um, there were pieces about it that I found really interesting and, for lack of a better term, deep. Um, okay. So I, I was confused by one piece, and then we'll dive into the deeper part of this. But the, the opening credits, they show a bunch of the land basically taking off, not just Laputa. Or la- Lapida. 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 I can't say it right. Lapida. Lapida. I'll, I'll say it the best way. Yeah. You can. Lapida. Okay. Lapida. I'll say it like John and Kyle mixed together. Lapida. Lapida. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's lap- what we sound like together. They, yeah, showed, they, they showed a bunch of things taking off. Mm-hmm. Yes. So why is the castle in the sky questioned if a bunch of these things were taking off? That's the part that I'm confused about. Was that just... So I, I tried to rationalize it in my own head. And I'm like, okay... Maybe what they were showing us was that in the distant past, much like Atlantis. That's what I was taking it as. Okay. This so, was eons ago. Or yeah. Whatever. A long, long time ago, parts of the, or a large part of the civilization took off from the earth and made these floating, you know, lands, castles, etc. And Lap- Lapida is one of the last ones to, to be around. All the rest of them eventually came back down and rejoined the earth. Yes, that's, yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so Makes we're there. Sense. Okay, so we're there. So once they make it to Lapida... Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm doing my best S- say here. It, say it with me. La? La? Pew? La pew? Ta. Ta. La pew ta. La pew ta. La pew ta. <laughs> Not my language. Um, <laughs> Lapida. Lapida. I like, I like John's way of saying it. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so once they made it there, um, two things struck me. One, it looks like uh, the drawings from the Bhagavad Gita or the Vimana, the Vimanas from the Bhagavad Gita, which are um, it, it's a Hindu text. I've heard, I've heard that song. Yeah, right. Bhagavad Gita. Wrong song. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong <laughs> thing. Uh, the Vimanas, Vimanas were um, these drawings of flying ships. They were basically UFOs drawn by the by the ancient Hindus, right? Oh, okay. And they're in these ancient texts, and they're they look like buildings that are flying around. Hold on, are we gonna be tested on this later? <laughs> You're not. Okay. But. The, whenever I saw that the the um, lap, Laputa, I'm still fucking it up. Laputa, Laputa. Uh, whenever just, I saw that, I was like, okay, so he took this notion of flying ships that that really look like castles, like they do, um, with, like the Vimanas look like, and he kind of ran with it. Like let's let's write a whole story around. Okay, there were flying buildings, like you know, way back in the past, there were flying buildings, and now there's still one, and these kids are gonna try and get back to it. That's a cool story. I kind of mm-hmm. like that notion. You know what I mean? And then once they got there and um, Muska, you know, and Sheeta end up being the last descendants, etc. And they he sets off that nuclear bomb. 
that's where it struck me that that's exactly the story that he's take, taking from because the Vermanas were said to have set off all of these, um, you know, they had advanced weaponry, they did all these things. So I think a lot of the story was actually taken from, um, I mean, I don't know if he admitted it. I don't know if there were ever interviews wherever uh, the, the director, the writer admitted that that's where he was getting this, hmm. this, this source material from. But that those pieces anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting reason why that's important. Mm-hmm. And um, to the deeper level, I should say is this notion that um, everything on that ship was covered in like trees. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And the robots were there to protect not so much the ship as much as the, the wildlife and the flowers and stuff like that. Did you guys catch yeah. that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The nature. Yeah. Right. So it's because in- I, I think that's what it was built for in the first place. I don't think so. To me, Go it ahead. was it was a place where um, I would I would say that you know because it had all the castle stuff around it. Yeah. Right. And then once once it was used for good, then it was more of a like a humanitarian ship of mm-hmm. like this is where nature grows. This is where you know instead of living on the earth where it's super polluted, this is like a, a what's that movie called where the the guys are up in space and the like, Jetsons. No, the Earth. The Earth is basically trash, but all the elites live oh, up in space. Um, yeah, the the Matt, right? da- Matt Damon Matt movie. Matt Damon. Equilibrium. Yeah. No, Is that what it was called. It wasn't called Equilibrium. No, that was that was Christian Bale. It was a word like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. It was yeah, but Hold basically on. all the elites lived up up above, and they you know had great oxygen and all that kind of oh. stuff. And I think that what this was is this took off. Mm-hmm. for one purpose and it was to help humanity like uh like basically survive in a different uh world besides earth but it was used for bad and that's why all these castle uh structures were around it and everything else it was made into like a battleship see i took it a little differently okay i took it as exploitation of of nature like um elysium Elysium, yeah. yeah. No. Go ahead, yeah, John. Yeah, I took it as like at the exploitation of, of nature, similar to the um what what do they call it? The value site, the the rock, the the, the crystal. Yeah. The the the, the value was, site. I thought it was Ethereum. No, Ethereum is the <laughs> is the other rock, which I thought was really cool too. But go yeah, ahead. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know where they got their name for their Bitcoin. Yeah. Now. yeah. yeah. So they like um, they use that crystal to to make the make the 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 building float and mm-hmm. the tree float. So it's like the 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 value site is similar to uh, the atom. We split the atom for nuclear power. Yeah. The value site powers everything, and I think in in my mind it was the exploitation of nature to where we got they got those those folks got too powerful, mm-hmm. and they ended up their own downfall, similar to Atlantis. Mm. I think you're closer you're closer to my interpretation of it because it's like I looked at it as um, the ship was built. And it was built for them to exploit nature. And then at some point, either the robots destroyed them or they destroyed themselves or they left on their own volition. Yeah. But they, they basically said, okay, you know, we got kicked out. And then nature took over the ship. And that's why it's growing on all, all the robots and all that kind of stuff. And the robots, I mean, they were, but they had to be programmed to take care of nature. So at some point, they became caretakers. And well, it's I don't like know. There were, there were two different types of robots. They're yeah, like you're the, right. They were like the combat robots, and then the robots that took care of nature. They weren't no, one of the same. They were the same. No, because the robots that were were used, like in the actual castle part of it, were all below. Yeah, that that was like man made stuff. But like once all that deteriorated, when Sheeta said those words, yeah, like all the man made stuff, all the basically all the nature survived. Well, the was... original and the original structure of Lapidus survived. Yeah, all the well, really the war the stuff, stuff, the yeah. war stuff actually just fell off. Like all the the reinforced uh, walls and the weapons and the the robots that were used for bad and all that kind of stuff were were disposed of. See, I thought the robots. I mean, don't get me wrong. When Muska <clears throat> uses the robots and and turns them on to fight the uh, the Goliath ship, um, I think that was. Obviously, those are war robots, but at the same time, I think those are the same robots as the ones that were walking around because the, the robot that lifts off the kite uh, to take it off the, the bird's nest and all that kind of stuff. I thought those, those were the same type of robot. If not the exact yeah. same robot, definitely the same type. But right. It's I don't programmed know. differently. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, I, I, I could see it. I just think of it as being... Uh, Unless, like, the ancient people yeah. 
built them and then their uh i guess their um the children and all the grandchildren and stuff like that actually just use that same model and just program them differently <laughs> that's possible yeah. who knows i mean cause... like the original people that took this shit up ship up you yeah. know it, it was it was more of a i guess like a nature exploitation or what you guys were talking about it's possible and then it was used to be a war machine well the one line on. in there that um she just grandmother had told her that the reason why they had come back down is because they realized they needed to be a part of the earth they need to be one with the earth etc i was like it's definitely, I mean, it reminds me of the Atlanta story a little bit. It reminds mm. me of the stories of the Vamana that, that I've heard about, but then it kind of reminds me of, um, oh Christ, I'm, I'm forgetting the, uh, it's kind of like Adam and Eve a little bit. You know what I mean? Like not, not quite, um, first people, but, but the idea of yeah. like, um, you know, they're, they're supposed to live in harmony with yeah. nature. Right. Become, become one with nature. Don't, don't, yeah. uh, don't divert the, the river. Exactly. For, for yeah. your own, your own gain. You yeah. Know, to type type thing. And um, what really sealed it for me was the uh, atomic cloud. Yeah. At, at the end, I was like, oh, that looks like an atom bomb. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just like to really hit it home, you know. So Miyazaki did come out in an interview and said where he got the idea for Lapida okay. came from. Um, is basically um, he was reading uh, Jonathan Swift's Gulliver, Gulliver's Travels. Okay. And there is a floating castle island in the book. Apparently, I haven't read it. Okay. So hmm. that's, that's where he got that idea. Now I'm wondering if Jonathan Swift ripped off that. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, what, yeah, what did you think about it, Justin? Overall? I didn't like it. No? No. Um, not, not one bit? Not not really. Um, a, I'm kind of biased against animation anyway, which every movie that we, that we talk about here, I always try to go into it liking the movie. Mm -hmm. So I don't try to color my opinion based off of whether I like animations or not. I mean, um, you could really tell that this was trying to appeal to like a kids' movie, mm -hmm. and I just could not connect with it. Um, I, I thought I thought the animation was not as good as Spirit Away. It, to me, it looked like every second of the video or film, I should say, or whatever. Um, it looked like there was like one or two frames missing from everything. It was a little jittery. It was jittery. Yeah, yeah. and. Spirited Away was more smooth. succinct, more yeah. more smooth than that. Uh, so that turned me off. Um, I didn't understand. Uh, okay, so we knew we know why you know Colonel um, Muska Muska Muska, Muska yeah. um, was wanting the the um, the amulet or necklace, you know, towards the end, which is fine. But why was the why was the pirates after it? Why was the Dola gang? Everybody was after it for the same thing. They're all after it for power. Yeah. They're all after it for power. So the government's after it because they want the weapons that Muska has told them is on this flying castle. Mm -hmm. They want the weapons. Dola wants it because of the riches. And which funny because she kind of befriends well, I know, that's Sheeta what I was and then well, gets like... the goddamn riches anyway at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Okay. So the Dola gang is the one that frustrates me the most from the movie because I'm like, are they bad? Are they not bad? Yeah. Like. I was kind of hoping that the that the guys were going to try to rape the girl or something, so we'd oh, be like, God. "No, no, hear me out." I know, <laughs> so that we could be like, "Okay, so they're obviously just bad and they're exploiting her." But they, it was really gray the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like they're kind of bad, but kind of not. Yeah, and like, I think that turned me off too. Yeah, it's like they're bad, but not as bad as the government. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I this, thought that was an interesting. This director does really have an issue with um, older women. Well, do you? Th okay, he really hates them. But do you think it's the director, or do you think it's the culture? Because well, I think I think there's a cultural thing we're missing here too. Like yeah, maybe there's this be. idea of you know government control is worse than the, the thugs down the street. Well, I'm, you know I'm, I mean? I'm just thinking that in Spirited Away, the old lady ran the place, mm -hmm. right? And she was um, she was mean. I even thought that uh, not to interrupt you, but I even yeah. thought that it was the same voice actor in this yeah. uh -oh. that played Ma Dolan, you know, right? Uh, and uh, the lady from Spirited Away, um, right. Bob Boy, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but but again, the the one in Spirited Away is is actually called a bath witch. Like that's actually a bathhouse witch. It's actually a yeah. real spirit, you know, piece yeah. in the I, whole religion. They, they have a word for it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I get that. <laughs> yeah. But it just seems like you know you've got you know another older lady that's this crabby as well. Yeah. And she's like, you know, just 
Maybe and he didn't just get enough ugly hugs. and just like wow, you're really portraying older women as being like no fat, and <laughs> really, and... really bad people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys thought she was ugly. That's really judgmental of you guys. I mean, you know, she had a few teeth missing, but she was definitely <laughs> <laughs> the I mean, the piece that piece that that uh, really threw me off was when she was eating that that steak or whatever she was eating and like the saliva. Oh, flopping on, yeah. like, oh god. Okay, she was able to do that in one go. Yeah. Saying Ooh. that, by the way, um, that's the piece I do like about the animation. Um, even though it was a little rough and stuff, and you could tell it was an older, you know, yeah. I don't want to say older style, yeah. but it was definitely older. Um, I really appreciate the detail that they put into this freaking thing. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing left on that screen that's not touched with with a brush. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, like how everything. Do you, how do you say the director's name? Hi, Hayao. Miyazaki. Lapuda. Lap, Lapuda. <laughs> no, Hayao Miyazaki. Is, he's well, he's known as like the the grandmaster. Yeah, the grandmaster of detail of animation. How, oh, does, okay. how does one become the grandmaster? Lots of, of practice. I think you just declare it. Actually, you just I declare I'm the grandmaster, and they go, <laughs> "Yes, you are." So no. you're talking about you know there's not a, a section in this that hasn't been touched, right? So there's actually uh, sixty nine thousand. 262 cells for this movie. Wow. You know, so that's the cells, the whole frame that they you yeah, know, draw dang. on and all that. Uh, and uh, 381 different colors. Jesus. That is nuts. How many animators yeah. worked on this? Miyazaki. No, I, is I it, don't know. Just the one. Hundreds. He's a grandmaster. <laughs> he should yeah. be able to do it. Jesus. He just he just looks at a page and it draws itself. Um, okay, that I would don't be, know. I'd would, be impressed. I, I would call him Grandmaster at that point. I'd be like, "Did you just do that with your eyes?" He does it with his mind. Explain it to me, Grandmaster. Yeah, <laughs> teach me. I would. Yeah, I would have to look it up. Yeah, no, but, I was just curious if yeah. the numbers were. But in front like of the you. like the explosions, the the flames, the water, like everything about that. I really did like the um the cave scene. Oh, where, with the glowing they, sun. Yeah, yeah. They find this the random rocks. dude. I, just walk in caves, apparently. Oh, there, there, there's, there's, yeah. there's, there's stuff in the, in the hills. Yeah, <laughs> pretty like much. A, I fully expected that voice to come hey, out. Well, what was strange was that they were way far away from where Pazu lived, but Pazu knew him. He's yeah. like, hey, it's you, Uncle John. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> yeah, like, everybody knows each other. But I did like that cave scene where he kind of, he's like that old guard to where mm-hmm. it's like you need to you need to relax and, you know, understand what you're dealing with. And it's like all around us. It's almost like a, like a force of some sort. Yeah. The only thing that's strange, well, not strange, but the only thing about that scene is, uh, as I was watching, I was like, okay, so this is a little bit for Sheeta, a whole lot for us. This is a whole lot for us to be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Which was actually part of the, I guess it was like one of, to me anyways, one of the slow, like, all right, let's catch our breath here. Yeah. Uh, scenes of let's actually tell some stories. Mm-hmm. of what's going on yeah. because right now we're just in a cat and mouse uh game of oh i want the stone well you can't have it yeah and it's been 30 why? minutes and we don't know why yeah, yeah it's like I agree why why yeah. don't you want it and it's like okay we need to come back to reality here mm-hmm. and explain what this is and why this is why this is here and which is again if i had to flaw if i had to fault the the director for or the writer whatever whichever way you want to put this for um some storytelling issues it would be that like mm-hmm. There's a whole swath where I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I get that there's a floating castle. The the movie's called Castle in the Sky. I, I figured that would be in the movie somewhere. Check. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. <laughs> and we don't get that for about 35, Explain. 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah. That was kind of rough, that part. I yeah. Agree and, and I think that's where Spirited Away really strive is the storytelling mm-hmm. in yes. Spirit Away was a hell of a lot better than it was in this one. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree. So I just counted. IMDb has credited 149 animators. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. How nice. Many? How many? With about 12 additional uh, production assistants. But one That's... guy gets credited Grandmaster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hold on. So 149 and 12, right? <clears throat> so what is that, 161? And you said it was how many? Uh, 60. Oh, it's a, uh, 69. it was 96. Th- oh, hold that was 63,000 or something like that. Let me go look it up. Again. I think it was 69,000, <laughs> but I might be wrong. Uh, yeah, 69,262. Wow. So you're going to average out Divided many. by 161 means that each one of them only had to write 430.2 only. cells. That's really not bad. I mean, that that's you could do that in a couple months. Yeah. That's not too bad. 430 hmm. cells. Interesting. Could be a lot worse. 
I also feel like my math's off, though, because there's no way. <laughs> Hold on. 69,000, right? Yeah. Yeah. You might have did 6,900. Maybe. 69,262. 69,232. 62. 62. 62. Divided by... This is the, uh, this is the part where we do math, by the way. <laughs> no, it's 430.2. Wow. 430.2 south. That's doable. I was thinking it took these people like eight years. Like they were like, one day we will open an animation house. It will call, be called Ghibli, and everyone will be very much for it. <laughs> yes, Grandmaster. Okay. <laughs> now get to work. Now get to work, animators. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was in like 1965, and then 1986, this movie came out. Yeah. Now, 430 cells, you could do that in an afternoon. I've got to t- keep my title. <laughs> you know, what is kind of interesting, though, about this is um, this was the first film of studio ghibli yeah when it was opening in 1985 yeah so it took him about a year wow that's interesting yeah i knew that actually the the one thing about this movie i know is that it it was essentially the first movie that kicked off a whole line of of famous movies by this guy Mm -hmm. because there was this one spirited away there was a couple in the 90s there was one in the late 2000s i don't know all the names but i know that he's pretty prolific yeah earlier you're saying that you think that there was one in 98 or 94 94, yeah um so there was one in uh shoot i just said uh, 97 okay that he did um well sorry there was one in, in 95 but it was just a short it okay. wasn't like an animated thing but in 97 there was one that was called princess monomoki okay which as i was doing research for this movie that kept coming up okay so which i haven't seen that but uh but I'm hey, assuming that the, that's uh, that's a big hit too. Next animation choice. Here we go, Princess Monomoki. <laughs> and that's two hours and fourteen minutes. Oh, oh man! Can we, just, Boy, they, can we just watch Bambi or something? I mean, <laughs> the mom dies happy. in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, don't ruin it. It's the Lion King, but retold differently. <laughs> <laughs> With anyway. the same animations. <laughs> yes, all of it. All of them are the same. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I didn't not like this movie. It's just I I don't know. The I, link the link definitely did did hurt I was, a little bit. Yeah. It could have been cut down a little bit more. I'm thinking at least twenty minutes. But yeah, yeah. I was thinking more of like forty five. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if you can cut that much. Hour and a half. Well, because typically <laughs> give me an hour and a half. Yeah. So, yeah. Typically, animations like successful animations. I think Disney and Pixar really hit it on the nail when they timed their animations at around 90 minutes Mm -hmm. and it's mainly set for kids kids, right because their attention span is not that great Mm -hmm. and 90 minutes is like the absolute max that you could actually stand your child in a theater (laughs) Well, animations and comedies the golden the golden uh time is 90 minutes yeah that's that's it no one can laugh more than 90 minutes it's impossible (laughs) you will die (laughs) If it's that, if it's that funny, so, all your humor is gone for the day. <laughs> pretty much. I did like the Patsu character, though. Yeah, Patsu was cool. I liked yeah. him a lot. I like his backstory with his yeah. father, who saw it first, and you know everybody calling him a liar, and he wanted to prove them wrong. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I like that backstory. Yeah, mm-hmm. but so I, wish, I was behind him. I wish he would have just flown his damn plane. I did find it weird that they didn't come back to it. I, I got to admit, I was I was impressed that they didn't come back to it because I was like, hey. You got me. You got. You went past my expectations. Good job. Yeah. But was at the it, same time, I was like, "But why?" Was it Patsu's plane or was yeah. it his father's? It was Patsu's. Oh, okay. He was building it. He was rebuilding it because it was his dad's. Okay. And he was okay. like, "I'm going to finish building well, it, and I'm going to fly it one day and find Laputa." Gotcha. Well, I thought it was his own because his, his dad bl- uh, flew the the blimp <laughs> thing. I'm really not doing it on purpose, John. <laughs> Every time I say the name, he's like, he's like. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just ignoring. I'm it. turning into Kyle. I'm, I'm gonna find the hooler. Uh, anyhow, I found yeah. the fart joke in the movie. Apparently. Now I'm laughing at Laputa. Here, Laputa. I, yeah. Well, another thing too with the the voice acting, I don't know if, I guess Americans really can't act as well as the Japanese in in these types of movies. I'll be honest, every anime I've ever seen, whenever it's overdubbed in English, typically it's, it's this level. Really, it's like it's over dramatic yeah. and yeah. like all the all the sighings and like when they're running and when they stop running, they're just, you ever, yeah. you, you ever know, it's watched, just like what is going on? Why are you doing this have, noise? Have you seen Pokemon? No. no. It's the same. No, it's, <laughs> it's exactly it's the same. It's exactly the same. Or, and uh, it's more annoying because that right there is in every episode and I'm like, what the hell is yeah. Pardon my French yeah. is going yeah. on. What is going on? Like, yeah. What is going on here? What you 
There, there was literally one. There was um, a Pokemon episode. My son was watching it a few years ago. And I, I'm in the kitchen. I'm doing dishes. And, I mean, that those noises went on for way too long. And I'm like, what the heck is he watching in there yeah and it was pokemon i'm like really they're like they're like um this this girl was was climbing up a cliff oh okay and she's like yeah eh, 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 eh. i'm like what in the world's going on it's like they went and got a, mo- a movie from the from the back room of blockbuster <laughs> and and used that that soundtrack i believe yeah. that what it is is uh when you go to the japanese versions yeah. and you listen to this all the sounds are there they, they they're trying to make it more realistic and unfortunately we make a lot of weird noises as we know being around john yeah just being human we make weird noises so sure. i think they're trying to make it more realistic then whenever you come over and you put that into american yeah we just fuck it up yeah right to be honest <laughs> because we just take it and we're like you know well i think i think this little kid would be like oh no patsu oh god <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Patu! And it's like wow. it just doesn't. Eddie can, com- Eddie can be a, a voice actor. We we la, we la puta the hell out of it is what we do. <laughs> yeah, we we la puta. It. That's <laughs> what we do. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's a la put. Again, um, like with this movie, I would like to watch the Japanese <laughs> edition and watch it with subtitles. Patu, Patu, Patu. Yeah, yeah, man. You, Patu. <laughs> really, Something like that. You're really good. You're on <laughs> it. That's, that was probably. Probably tr- uh, direct quote. From yes. Hachi, 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 ta, hachi. Yeah. Very good. Wow. Something like that. Kazoo tight. I am an, a, Thank a, you. A, a <laughs> That's pretty close to what I was going for. Hachi. <laughs> um, well, one more thing I want to say before we move into the budgets. Um, one more little trivia I found kind of funny. Um, so Mark Hamill uh, oh, voiced um, God, the Joker. Y- yeah, but but not that's not what I'm talking about here. Okay. Um, <laughs> He said that he, in the, for this movie, he based his performance of Colonel Nuska mm. uh, off of David Hyde Pierce. Who? David Hyde Pierce. Nope. Um, Niles from Frasier. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I never watched Frasier. Oh, I guess you could. I guess you could. You never watched Frasier? No. Get no. out. I, I mean, that's out. fine. I mean, even even <laughs> the character himself looks like <laughs> he does. Niles from Frasier. He, he does. Kinda does. I, I yeah. get that. I get the connection because I've seen the pic- posters of uh, Frasier. I know it's um, Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. And a little Weasley guy with a big forehead. David Hyde. That's, that's David Hyde. David Hyde Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> yeah, that's his too. name. So yeah, I get that. I actually liked. Uh, I don't like Mark Hamill anymore, but I actually liked his um, his uh, performance in this. As far as Muska goes, I thought Muska was a real dick. So I thought that was portrayed well through the voice that Hamill used. Yeah, his I mean, weird his weird uh, sunglasses. They're all wearing wore. weird sunglasses. See, what was funny to me about that was again, I take that back to there's something deeper happening here that we're probably missing, like we yeah. did with Spirited Away. There's a there's a mistrust of the government thing happening there. Well, yeah, you had like the secret agent stuff and that, that's that a, goes on. Where they're always dressed in like black and white suits. The, and inept, the inept army. Yeah, the, exactly. with hats and yeah. stuff like that. You know, they're they're just weird. Yeah, and I, I think if you go back to the 80s and you go back to what the, the Japanese government was doing, like with building nuclear power plants and all this kind of stuff, back yeah. then, there's, and taking out mountains to do it, there probably is a large mistrust of the government. Military overspending with the Goliath? That yes. has to be a metaphor. Yeah, for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And that huge castle that, that has turrets that were moving around and yes yeah. like, dang who's going after my base i was like your bait your you mean your whole region your whole city your yeah. your government uh but you know state that you own right there it's good the, lord it's the capital <laughs> yeah it was huge anyhow so so do you have budget yes i do i do have a dozen the, dollars the or mafia yen? was involved no no yakuza no, no ernest board nine in this movie um you know the budget is in american dollars okay, okay. and it is estimated so, hey, so in 86 money yeah i'm, I'm trying to remember what it. we did about spirited away and i cannot oh, yeah. remember I don't how remember much we spent. either damn it um, i have that number too i'm gonna say go ahead john Five hundred thousand for the budget What's the budget, budget? The budget yeah. okay i'm gonna say five million okay i'm gonna kind of split the middle ish i'm gonna go 1.2 million oh wait this is 86 yeah i should have went lower oh well. Go what ahead. did you? What did you? I pay? said five million. Oh gosh, this is close. It's three point three million dollars. Yeah, you can have it. Well, I'm two million away. Two point one million away. He's one point seven away. You're closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, three point three million dollars is the oh. estimated budget for this. Well, I was off. So just a bit. to compare that to uh, Spirit Away, there were 161 animators, John. Yeah, actually, <laughs> good point. <laughs> but well, they're. They're 
in the eighties in China. Yes, but it's Japanese man, I mean, and the Grand Master must be paid as well. <laughs> but the eighties, oh, man, three hundred and eighty-one colors. <laughs> there aren't that many in the ring. <laughs> It's not that many in the Crayola well, box. Well, to, to compare that to Spirit Away, that was uh, that was nineteen million for oh, Spirit wow. Away. Oh, okay. so quite a big difference. So yeah. huge difference. Um, That's where all those missing frames went. Yeah, probably. I, I probably. But Spirit <laughs> well, Away, this is weird. Spirit Away was only two hours and five minutes. Fifteen years of inflation. So one yeah. minute longer than Castle in the Sky is hmm. made for. Hell of a lot cheaper. Well, I will say this though too. I, I think Spirited Away showed growth. Infl- oh yeah, oh yeah. Inflation and inflation. And inflation. Yeah. 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 Fifteen years of inflation is a yeah. And I just it, think it's terrible on the pocketbook. Yeah, very terrible. Spirited Away is just a more in depth movie. It, it just has more to me. This is a pretty straightforward. I'm doing this for kids. the The storyline just needs to be let's get these kids from A to Z with some crap happening. Do you think middle. it was for kids? Yeah, he, yeah. I read in an interview that that was the whole reason he came up with this idea for this movie. He wanted to make a movie designed to entertain kids. Interesting, because I I took away a whole like eco message from it, like uh, you know, take care of the earth and don't you know try and pervert the earth. Well, I'm sure. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> Happy Feet's made for kids. Oh, but that's it true. Also, has a very heavily take care of the earth. So is Captain message. Planet. So you Captain. Know. Planet. Yeah. Planet. All right. So when inter- our rings unite. Yeah, and it's <laughs> an interesting thing about the uh, opening weekend USA is this uh, IMDb has it slated as November eighteenth, two thousand eighteen. Right. It did so, not have a home release here until late. Yeah, two thousand eighteen. It's so a late. Yeah, thirty years. <laughs> very very long time since. Took it a was little made. while. They yeah. uh, they just, they brought it over here faster than COVID. Just a little bit. So, um, what do you think the opening weekend was for the United Are States? Are we counting the twenty eighteen release as well? Or is that the only release, right? Well, the 2018 release? Well, I, and I over have, here it was. I have a, a, just the opening weekend of USA. I don't have an opening weekend in, in Japan. So we're only counting 2018? Yeah. Right. Oh, shit. Uh, mm. It's got to be low. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go 700,000. Okay. 500,000. Okay. 499, Bob. All right, 499. One. <laughs> it was $197,172. Yeah, and then Whoa. it was way yeah. low. Yeah. So yeah. almost $200,000. So... It made five hundred and twenty-three thousand in the USA. That was the gross USA. But now let's let's think about cumulative world worldwide gross since nineteen eighty-six. Yeah. So how much do you think this money or this uh, movie made? I'm gonna say four million. I was leaning more towards ten. So was I. But I'll say eight. And what you're saying, ten? Yeah, ten. And Eddie said at four. Four. Um, you're closest at uh, it's at six million forty thousand. Oh, so John's closer. John's oh, closer. Eight. Oh, you, you said by forty thousand dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. eight. Uh, by, by forty thousand dollars, he's closer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's a very. I think that's the smallest margin that we've had on the show. <laughs> Just I can't get. I can't win. <laughs> sorry, to quick save math. my life. <laughs> so IMDb also has this set to release. Uh, 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 it's releasing it, again well, for the no, first time. No, no, no. It, it says release date here, um, uh, July 1991. I guess that was just without a theatrical release. That was probably on video, yeah. 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 Okay. And, <clears throat> Laser disc. And there you go. It was not an English, if I remember correctly, it was not an English dubbed version that was original. That was in 91. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Oh, I gotcha. Well, let's see what do the critics rate it on... IMDb. Ooh, what do you guys think? Eighty-two <clears throat> percent. But you mean uh, Rotten Tomatoes? One Rotten Tomatoes, sir. Ninety-three. You... I said eighty-two. Uh, I'll go ninety-four. <laughs> Ninety-six. <sighs> Boom. Jesus, <I> stole it. <laughs> I can't win for anything. <laughs> go ahead. Let's put up on a seven. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, go ahead. What, what do you think that the audience rated? I'm going to go 88%. 88%? Is that what that was? 88. 88. <laughs> it's somewhere between 85 and 88. I've got the numbers between 85 and 88 covered. All right. I'll, I'll go 85%. We can, we can give Eddie the spread. He's, all right. I'll, go, I'll go 85% then. I, I had it in my head immediately, 84. 84? So I'm taking it, Kyle. 91. Oh, 91. wow. There you, there I took you one here. Good nice. job, yeah. I think I'm really... Hooray. I think you guys babied me on that one. You didn't want to, you didn't want to beat me. Yeah. We only had to give him five. Let's, let's give him the points that aren't actually counted. 
Listen, it's for my self-esteem what's left of it. We should actually start counting that points. And eh, let's not start <laughs> it's now. Let's not, it's now. too much work. All right. <laughs> well, so what do we want to rate? Uh, who wants to begin? You. Me? No, John. <laughs> you want me to Nah, it's Kyle. Like, Kyle started no, the whole conversation. No, I'll, I'll go. Okay, I'll go. fine. All right, John, I'll go. So, after watching Spirited Away, right? Yeah. We, I, I should have watched this movie first. I think I would have liked it better. Okay. Um, so I, I was surprised that it wasn't as as good, being as the same director and all and all that good stuff. Um, I was a li- so I was a little obviously I was a little disappointed. I can overlook a lot of things in in films, but. But the the weakness of the story, like we were saying earlier, um, I really can't overlook. Um, and I think that I think that I can see an eight to twelve year old really really enjoying this movie. Mm-hmm. But um, but I think it, I think the older you get, the the less uh, the less magic. Yes, yeah. The less the magic uh, starts wearing away. Yeah, exactly. It uh, is spirited away, if you will. No. Oh. <laughs> um, so I am going yeah. to give, <laughs> I'm going to give this movie a 5.2. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 5.2 for John. Um, I guess I'll go next. The, uh, I pretty much said my piece already. It, I didn't really like it. Um, I kind of felt bored the whole way. Uh, I didn't really like the animation. I couldn't really connect with too much of the characters. I did like the Patsu character. I like his backstory, so I was kind of like rooting for him during the movie. Um, the the man baby gang was annoying to me. <laughs> the man baby <laughs> gang. I like it. I like um, it a lot. That's good. I believe they were called the Dollas. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, as a as a castle or sky critic, it's uh, it's called Laputa. Uh, <laughs> I just love, by the way, you're like I couldn't connect connect with any of the characters except for one of the main characters. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's so funny. is that what I said? Yeah. Basically, you're like uh, you're like well, I couldn't connect with anything. So okay, Pazu. I rephrase. I could only connect with one of them. There you go. Um, but that was only when I was learning his backstory. After that, it, yeah, there's like, nothing felt you know. It, it kind of fell through. I, I don't know. It just didn't connect with me. Um, I'm gonna give it. Um, Three, I think. Okay, fair enough, Eddie. Uh, so I like the animation. Um, even for even compared to Spirited Away, I, I I just liked it. I think the guy has um has a lot of chops. I think I, I see why they called him Grandmaster. Let's say it that way. <laughs> I like uh I like his attention to detail. Um, it makes it not feel like animation, even though it's obviously animation. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, Storyline was a little flawed. I agree with you guys on that. It definitely did feel long. Like there were parts where I was like, "Shit, I really want to. Va- I, I really want to fast forward right now." But um, I'm not going to. Um, I do think the story was a little deeper than just a basic child's story. But if the director says it wasn't, who am I to argue? Um, <laughs> so on the that note, I am going to give it. Uh, I'm gonna go five, uh, five. Five five, yeah. even five. No, it is oh. even five. Oh, an even five. Even five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kyle, no, no five five. No, not this time. All right. So yeah, with me, I like with any movie, I like to kind of open my mind and be like, okay, here we go again with an an animated movie. But it is with a uh, with the same director, mm-hmm. and I remember liking Spirit uh, Spirit Away. I remember giving it a, a high score. I think I gave it like an eight or something. Um, I think we all gave it around eight, um, which was kind of crazy. I think it's currently ranked number two. Yeah, it's like one of our highest ranks, yeah. uh, ranked uh, movies mm-hmm. out there. And I was kind of expecting that. And I was only slightly disappointed with this one. And that was mainly because of there was no, I guess there was no character arc. There was no explanation of who these people really are and what their objectives are. Uh, yeah, I'm ahead. gonna stop you for two seconds. A character arc is a great, a great point of what's missing from this. It is. It's a very those those characters are very flat. Like she yeah. learns more about herself, but she doesn't really grow as a character. Right. You're right. There's, and that's a great point of what's missing from this. And that's that was yeah. a huge piece in um in Spirited Away. Yeah. They had a great character arc. In well, that. multiple. Yeah, multiple character arcs. Yeah. yeah everybody did. found you know found who they were, and everybody rode along their journey you know with them. Yeah. So, with that, um, 
it's definitely not going to be an eight like Spirited Away. I'm more along the lines of probably like a six. Okay, for this movie. so an even six. Yeah. <clears throat> that was probably the deepest thing you've said about a movie yet. And I don't mean that to be a negative thing. I'm saying huh. like as a very positive, like that. You're right, 100. percent Like that's that. What what is missing from this is that the characters are flat. They're they're um they're not static. They yeah. do change a little bit, but they're but they're fairly flat characters. You don't find out enough about them. Yeah, technicalities and everything. It's it's a it's a great movie. Yeah, but yeah, it's just the I need some more depth in, in characters a yeah. little bit. I'm with you on the music though. The music was music awesome. stunning. Yeah, I, music. I actually listened to the soundtrack this afternoon. And, I don't. I, yeah. And I and I rarely do that for especially animation yeah. films, but it's it's really good. Yeah. So that means that the screenwriting score for <clears throat> Castle in the Sky comes out to four point eight. Okay. So, <clears throat> so that wraps up our season two stuff, and I wanted to do a quick little recap of the season. I've got some numbers. Oh boy, I really like these. So we've rated uh, sixteen movies. I'm not counting Castle in the Sky because okay. we just did that. Okay. Um, but would you guys like to guess what our average rating this season was? <laughs> two. Of all of our, <laughs> and no. it is a decimal point. So no, I okay. think I think it's higher than that. I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to say a four point eight. I'm going to say a 7.3. I'm going to say a 6.5. You're very close, Kyle. It's a 6.7. Oh, dang. Wow. That nice. was yeah. our average scores. So we have very mediocre movies. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, our our, uh, our highest rated was uh, Arrival at 8.4 Oh wow! this season. And then Spirit Away came in at 8.2, just underneath it. Yeah. Is Arrival our highest of all time? Yeah. Uh, I believe it is. Oh, I would weird. have to look, but yes, I believe it is. Huh. Um, so I also have some budgets here. So I'm not going to make you guys oh, guess gosh. here, but um, so I've tallied up all the movies, uh, their budget that um, not adjusted for inflation. Right. Right. Now, Kyle, every pick he did did not have a budget this year. <laughs> I could not find. <laughs> really. <laughs> So, so you looked in IMDb? Yeah. So That's the Ghost great. of Mrs. Muir didn't have one. <laughs> the Big Heat didn't have one. And you think yeah. I'm messing with you every 40, time I bring it up? <laughs> Forty-seven, fifty-three, or something like that. Um, I was, I was, I was joking with you. It's not every one. That you okay. Picked. It was right. those two. Okay. It's just those two. Yeah. All right, I was like, oh, I can't be every single one of them. Um, <laughs> just most. N- of them. No, sorry, three. Because you did Bad News Bears as well. And that didn't have. That a didn't have a budget either. Seriously. Yeah. So you had three. John had one. Dang. Uh, the shootest. Oh. I couldn't find a budget for the shootest either. Weird. Okay. So anyway, so there's four movies that I don't have budgets for. Anyway, so 14, or sorry, uh, 12 movies that we're doing, uh, those came out to be just just over $458 million. Wow. Wow. That's it? $48 for, million? Yeah, well, because we're missing four movies. That's like the four, budget of Avatar, right? Million. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Or it's say, the I mean, budget like, of Titanic or something. Yeah, like it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like two hundred million or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, was, um, so I did wow. uh, adjust that for inflation because I was curious. Okay. Yeah. So I did go back through and billion. adjust everyone for inflation. <laughs> uh, it came out to be um, six hundred and fifty-eight million four hundred twenty-one thousand. Wow. Roughly. If you wanted to make, remake all those movies today, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Well. With all the same talent, and if you got lucky to have all the same mafia contacts and everything else, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, that's crazy. Six hundred and sixty million can uh, can get you uh, four, uh, fourteen movies or twelve movies. Actually. Twelve movies. Twelve movies. Keep saying 14. spread out in the course of how many years? What was our earliest? I think it was nineteen forty-seven. I don't know. I did not. I think it was. I think it was uh, the Ghost of Mrs. Mirror was. That our was forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah. So that was then, our earliest? Yeah. And then so. our latest is probably Arrival, which was, uh, no, Knives Out. That was uh, 2009. No, sorry, Tenet. Tenet. Yeah, Tenet. 2020. Say, yeah, 2020. came out 2020. Yeah. yeah. So a huge range of, of years in our in our picks, which I like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It gives us something that people won't probably watch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> Especially mine. Sorry. Or listen to. <laughs> sorry, folks. Yeah. So we um, had a couple. I still like uh, the the love of the proper stranger. I still like that yeah, one. I yeah. like that. I like that one. Out of the older like fifties and later, uh, I think my favorite was the Big Heat. Yeah. It, From those, yeah, the Big Heat wasn't bad. I mean, I did, I didn't mind it. You know what I mean? But I think if I had to put, th- that would definitely be one and two. 
The, yeah. go, the one I would not rewatch is the Ghost of Mrs. Muir. I wouldn't even come. <laughs> you could ask, and I would go, no, no, <laughs> no. Nah. I'd rather have surgery on my meniscus. I'd rather rewatch. <laughs> uh, I'd rather rewatch Gone with the Wind for the eight hundred million. Ooh, time. oh man, wow. that's wow. really bad. That's super bad. Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh. <laughs> so would you would you rather watch Ghost of Mrs. Muir or uh, The Devil's Reign? Oh, Devil's Reign. I would pick Devil's, Devil's Rain. Rain. Yeah, hands down. It's just a terrible, fun movie. <laughs> the Devil's Rain. Yeah, it's a fun movie. No, I, I think I'm, it's a fun movie. I'm just it's saying, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd have to pick that. It's a drinking movie. Yeah, the lowest rating movie in the in the show. Well, with that, <laughs> challenge accepted. Yes. Yeah, there's always next season, Kyle. Yes, there's always next year. I'm going to put up the season. peanut butter solution. I'm going to put that up. Let you guys enjoy that little nugget. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll give it my alcohol score and sober score. <laughs> See which one's higher. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with that, we're going to close it out here. Uh, make sure you go to our Facebook and Twitter. All the stuff, all the info for the social media is in the post below the podcast. Um, also go to our website, AmericanPodcasting.net, and you can see our other shows there. Um, and yeah, do our Patreon stuff, please. Yeah. Patreon.com slash Screen Yeah, that'd be um, great. You could hear this episode that we just had, that you just heard, unedited and in its raw for and like, we had some funny stuff that we're going to cut out of this, probably. <laughs> well, maybe. Who knows? Please. So, <laughs> pretty please. Okay. So, all right. So, the with poodle. that, um, we're actually going to take a week off um, between seasons. Um, so, then we will be back the following Saturday. All right. See you guys. So, bye. <laughs> See you all.